previous video, I talked about time dilation, link in the description, and at the end I mentioned other effects of relativity, light speed being constant from all observers, length contraction, and mass dilation. First is length contraction. Length contraction is when fast-moving objects are shortened along the direction of motion, like this rocket. There's something I need to explain before I tell you the reason this occurs. The concept of a light clock. A light clock is a clock that uses each time a photon bounces off a mirror as a tick. If a light clock is moving sideways at half the speed of light, a person moving with it will see it tick, let's say, every one second. This is because he will see that the light only has to move one light second every second. An outside observer will see the light having to move diagonally because of the movement of the spaceship. To prevent the light from falling behind the spaceship, which would make the person moving with the clock see the light going at a different speed, the light must move one light second diagonally and half a light second sideways because of the speed of the ship. Using the Pythagorean theorem, the light moves up 0 0.86 Now what if the light clock seconds. was facing the same direction the ship was moving? In this case, the person in the ship would see one tick per second, but outside the ship, the other person would see something different. First, the light would take two seconds to get from the back end to the front end because of the ship moving with the light. Then it would take two-thirds of a second for the light to get back because it is moving against the ship. This leaves the average dilated time 0 0.75 speed. This causes a problem. How can the orientation of a clock change the time dilation? It doesn't. The fix is length contraction. Since the square root of 0 0.75 is 0 0.866, if we contracted the ship in the direction of motion by the same motion, amount as time this dilation, this would lower the speed of time. The problem would be solved because the path will be shorter for the second light clock, but the first one won't be affected when it contracts. Okay, if you didn't understand that, the gist is that the equation for length contraction is the same as the equation for time dilation, the Lorentz factor, the square root of 1 minus the object's velocity squared divided by the speed of light squared. So a rocket moving at half the speed of light will have 86.6% speed through time and 86.6% the original length. When the length of the ship is contracted, the person in it sees that the whole world is contracted because from his perspective, the world is moving at half the speed of light and not him. Basically, relativity can be weird. Imagine the rocket ship moved through a tunnel. The rocket is larger than the tunnel, but due to length contraction, outside observers see it as shorter, and somebody in the rocket sees the tunnel as shorter. As the rocket goes through, the outside observer first sees the back of the rocket enter, then the front exit. The person in the rocket sees the front exit, and then the back enter. So the future is in the past, and the past is in the future. Yeah, relativity is very, very weird. Now, mass dilation. This property makes things more massive as they speed up. The Lorentz factor is used to calculate this, but slightly different. Rather than multiplying the normal measure by the factor making it smaller, you divide by the Lorentz factor to increase the measure. This means that as you speed up, you get heavier and heavier. This is one of the reasons why it is impossible to get to the speed of light. Each time you add the same amount of force to speed up the object, the object speeds up by less and less. By the time it is at near light speeds, it would take all the energy that the sun ever makes just to speed it up by one mile per hour. Mass dilation doesn't really cause any paradoxes. It just enforces the cosmic speed limit. If you liked this video and want to see more, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them.